Let us open the book of John. Chapter 14. Verse 15. If you have found it, it reads as follows. If you love me, keep my commands and I will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him but you know him for he lives with you and will be with you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you before long. The world will not see me anymore but you will see me because I live and you will also live. Let the people of God say Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Are you ready to hear from God? It is a prayer of every Christian to hear from God but the instant when God avail himself manifest himself before us and require us to do our God given duties we fail decimally it is a prayer of every Christian to meet God to know Jesus but when the duties are availed before us to be fulfilled we fail him Decimally. If I were to entitle my message this evening, I would say to you the dispensation of the Spirit. Tell your neighbor, dispensation of the Spirit. Salvation has become a puzzling concept idea and a movement of the modern day living many Christians around the world they profess salvation relationship with Jesus and yet these people have not encountered Jesus in the person of the Holy Spirit however deep your knowledge of the scriptures may be however influential you may become as a Christian or a minister in the community preach it the word of God until you have met Jesus by the enlightenment of the Holy Spirit you are not fit to be called his people today salvation has become a marketplace for many people it has become because the Holy Spirit have not been welcome in the house. Jesus said, I will not leave you like offense. I will give you another helper. He, the Holy Spirit, when he enter your midst, he will teach you what is required of you many christians their work with god is forever found wanting because these people they have understood god through the letter not by revelation of the spirit most of us here we talk about jesus we pray to this jesus but we have not met Jesus for ourselves. Salvation will not make sense until the people of God they have met Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit. Most of us, our confession of Jesus is cluttered 
by history. Our churches have become museums instead of spiritual battlefield. Because we only know Jesus by what is written. Today, if you ask any person who is Jesus, they go to the letter, they open the verses, they cannot reveal Jesus for themselves. The Bible says, Peter said to the men at the beautiful gate, look at us. It means that Peter, for him to reveal Jesus, he must have met who? Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, Jesus gave them a mandate. You are to go into all the world, preach the word of God. But he said to them, you need to do what? You need to tarry in Jerusalem. Jesus, after spending three years of educating and training his disciples, he still said, they are not fit for the field until they have received the helper. He said, don't attempt it to go and talk about me, to testify about me if I am not inside. It was the Holy Spirit that made the disciples apostles of God much where God desires. Most of us, we are running with a letter without the spirit. That's why our journey of salvation is a burden. That's why people backslide on the way. That's why people convert to other faith. Other than Christianity. Because these people, it is by their knowledge, wisdom, and strength that they are running the race. We are failing to understand the ministry of the spirit hence our christian lives are wounded hence our relationship with god does not produce fruits because we have a relationship with the bible but not with the one that he talks about tell your neighbor we have a relationship with the bible but not with the man that the bible talks about most of you here, you know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. But you cannot manifest the one that it talks about. That's why walking on the principles of Jesus is very difficult for many Christians because these people they have adopted what? Religion in the name of God. You are not a Christian until you have met Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible will remain dominant in our hands, even in our mouth, without the Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor, without the Holy Spirit, the Bible will remain dominant asleep in our hands, even in our lips. We confess it. We profess the Bible, but our words are empty. They are like clouds without rain. Because we have not met the one who makes the Bible alive.